What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know what you're thinking. Something's different about Rem today. He seems a little better looking. It is not because I got a fresh tan or a new haircut. Nah, nah, nah. Instead, it's because I got on that Anaka Power Apparel Baby. My boy Shali and the whole team over there is killing the game, man. So if you're looking for some good apparel that uh, hugs the sleeves, lets you show off those anabolic gains, make sure you go check those boys out, man. Because I'm telling you, I ain't felt this sexy in a very long time. And I want you all to feel sexy too. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are making a Stromboli. Now, if you don't know what a Stromboli is, I'm gonna have you exit through the door to your left. But if you do know, you can come sit front and center because Remy's gonna put on a clinic. We all know traditionally pizza, loaded with calories, loaded with fat, it ain't doing our bodies any good. But if you take the hacks I'll show you in this video, how to make your own homemade dough, how to choose the right toppings, you're gonna be able to eat pizza and make gains at the exact same time, I guarantee it. In today's video, we'll be making an anabolic pepperoni Stromboli. This recipe is not only busting seams with all the fillings, it's so easy, anybody watching can make it. If you've been wanting to sword swallow a Stromboli, but you like to keep your dignity by walking out of the restaurant instead of having the staff carry you out in a wheelbarrow and look no further than this video because I'm telling you it just might change your life we are changing the game around here man it ain't about giving up the foods we love it's about making better choices and when you make foods like in this video my other videos are out of the RJF anabolic cookbook it makes this entire process a breeze step-by-step -step instructions the ingredients what you got to weigh out everything you got to do but don't take my word for it I'm telling you give it a shot just a week follow the recipes do what I say you got to do and you're gonna see something happen I put that on my mind Link down below in my description. You get it one time. You get every future recipe I have for free. All right, baby. If you guys are ready to another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, so when it comes to a stromboli, the first thing we gotta do is make our own homemade dough. What we need to do is use 90 grams of white flour, we're gonna split it into two bowls. We're gonna put 45 grams in a large mixing bowl, and the other 45 in a small bowl we set off to the side. And now what we're gonna add to our flour to make it rise is a Rapid Rise Instant Yeast Packet. This is my favorite brand. These are super cheap in the baking section of your grocery. This makes making your own homemade dough a breeze. Cut it with your scissors. We're just gonna dump the whole packet right down in here. Next, we're gonna add about three grams of table sugar. That's just gonna help this rise. We're also gonna add two grams of salt and finally two grams of garlic powder. And now the only place where you can really mess this recipe up is at this step. You follow this and you follow my measurements, you're gonna be eating anabolic in no time. What we need is 61 grams of water, but it's gotta be warm water, preferably between 110 to 130 degrees. I measure this with my thermometer. I'm at 122, which is perfect. So all I do is dump this down in here, mix everything together. And then once it's all mixed, we'll take about half of our other bowl of flour pour it down in here and go in and give everything another full mix. In my opinion, this is the easiest way to make dough at home without messing it up. I used to do ninja blenders, food processors, and the cleanup was not only a pain, but it wouldn't work about half the time. When I do it this way, it 100% comes together. And once you really sort of see your dough ball form, we're gonna pour in the rest of our flour. Then we'll go in and give it one final mix. And then eventually, right at the end of this process, you'll reach a point where the spoon ain't really doing the trick. So I like to get in here with my hands and really start to knead it together. And you'll notice there's some sticky spots in here and what I like to do is go around on the inside and start soaking up that flour. Press it down in, maybe sprinkle some in the middle, form it into a ball again, rinse, repeat, and all I'm gonna do is keep adding flour, mixing it up until we have the perfect little dough ball. And voila, once you're finished, you should have a perfect, round, not sticky, and quite sexy dough ball. And all we're gonna do now, grab another mixing bowl, hit it with nonstick, sit our dough ball down inside, cover it with plastic wrap, and now all we gotta do is wait a little bit and let this rise. I recommend giving it at least 30 minutes. That'll make it malleable, let it do the trick, but if you wanna be optimal, about 60 minutes will do. So we're gonna wait on this to rise and we'll be right back. Come on. And at this point, our dough is looking good. What I'm doing is sitting it down on a square piece of parchment paper. And what I'm gonna do next is use a rolling pin and roll this thing out into a rectangle. And I know some of you guys watching are thinking that you're too manly to ever use one of these. But let me tell you, there's no better way to get women than to use a rolling pin. You can either show them your skills with it or if that doesn't work, conk them over the head with it. I'm kidding, don't do that. 
and boom, we got it rolled out and we are officially cooking with gas. Now what we're gonna do is add 61 grams of pizza sauce. I normally just buy the store brands because they have the lowest calories. So I'm just gonna lay down my sauce right here in the middle and once it's weighed out, I'm just gonna spread it around but I wanna leave about an inch of dough on the outside, that way we have room to fold it. And once our sauce is laid down, I'm gonna take 112 grams of fat-free mozzarella and spread about half of it right here on our sauce. Same principle as before, we wanna leave that edge free and clear for folding. And at this point, we can go ahead and add a couple seasonings. What I like to do is throw a little bit of oregano on here, along with some crushed red peppers, because I like that heat. And now we go in with 30 grams of turkey pepperoni and evenly spread these out on top of this sauce and cheese. And keep in mind too, I'm making a pepperoni one, but there's no rules in this kitchen. You could add ham to this, some salami, might not be as anabolic. You get what I'm saying? You can take liberties with this. In the future, I'll probably do a meat lover's one where we have 96% lean ground beef, some turkey bacon, things like that. But for now, we're keeping it simple. And folks, we are almost done. All we gotta do is spread the rest of our cheese right here on top of our pepperoni, and boom. As of right now, this is looking pretty good. Now we gotta fold it. This part can be a little tricky. Follow my lead and you'll be just fine. What we wanna do is take these edges and fold them up. And then once those are folded up, we'll take the edge closest to us, bring it up as well. And then what we're gonna do is begin to roll this thing. We have a lot of toppings on here, so you wanna make sure it's tight. Just roll it, roll it, and boom. All right, <laughs> that part can be a little tricky. But once you get it started, it's actually not that hard. Now what we wanna do is take a little bit of egg beaters, put it in a bowl, grab a silicone brush, then we just wanna brush the top of our stromboli with the egg beaters. It's gonna give it a nice golden brown color and help it crisp up even more. And then once we've done that, we're gonna take a sharp knife and cut some small slits in the top of our stromboli. That's gonna create a little vent and let some of that air out of there while this thing cooks. And then once all the vents are created, the final thing I'll do is sprinkle a little bit of oregano on top. Beautiful. Now all we gotta do is transfer this to a baking sheet and throw it in the oven on 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Basically, once the top's golden brown and you can see all the cheesy gooiness bubbling up, you know you're good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, when I return, you already know what time it is. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, check it out. We have an anabolic stromboli. Look at this thing, man. I mean, it's all held together. The dough cooked perfectly, it's crispy. You can see everything on the inside is melted, bubbling out the top. We even had a little overspill. All in all, we got 10 out of 10 execution. So what I'll actually do is take a knife, cut right down the middle right here, cut another slither off. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm talking about. Y'all can't tell me that this doesn't look delicious. If you guys made it this far into the video, please smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below for the algorithm, hit that subscription button, and before this gets cold, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feedback, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, any meal where I get to have something pizza related, I just can't wait for. I get pumped, but first, before I bite into it, we have a few boxes of the PB&J and the Cinnamon Swirl Crunch Anabars still left on our site. So FinalBossFormance.com, could RGF 10, saves you 10% on the best tasting protein bar, no cap. Full restock of all flavors come in hopefully soon. So be on the lookout for that. Anyways, Strom frickin' Bully time. You watched me make it, now you're gonna watch me eat it. Y'all ready? Three, two, one, let go. Oh my God. I mean, how do I describe it? I feel like you guys already know what's going on here. It's basically a pizza, but it's just, it, it's all inside of crust. It's like a Hot Pocket. It's a stromboli. And honestly, the best part might actually be that homemade crust. It's flaky, it's soft, it's got a nice texture. It's got great flavor, but it's not loaded down with fat or excess calories because we made it ourselves. We controlled what was inside of it. In the middle with the sauce, the cheese, the pepperoni, the traditional classics. The way they melt and infuse together and you get a little bit of everything in every bite because of the way you roll it up. You know what I mean, you can't go wrong with it. Mm. Now in this entire stromboli, if you make it exactly how I did it, which end up with for the entire thing, is only 600 calories, four grams of fat, 55 grams of protein, 86 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber. 600 calories, 55 grams of protein, only four grams of fat in an entire stromboli. I dare you, look up your favorite restaurant stromboli nutrition facts, see what they're giving you. I guarantee, unless it's this tiny little thing that you're getting easily double the calories, way more fat, less protein, way more carbs. I mean, come on, man. You do this one, it's gonna taste just as good, you're gonna love it, your body's gonna love it. And at the end of the day, when you feel good, you look good, you're eating good. It's really hard to say you aren't living your best life. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final bite. Let's go. 
Mm. This is a no-brainer, easy 10 out of 10 recipe, hands down. You follow my instructions in this video or in my cookbook, you're gonna be eating like a king or a queen in no time. You're gonna love this one. I know that for a fact. And make sure you tag me on Instagram, at the Remington James, if you want me to see your creation and repost it to my story. Just add it to your story, take a good picture, and there's a pretty high chance I'll, uh, I'll share the love. And you already know, if you got the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, link down below. It has been updated, so this recipe is now in there. All you gotta do, if you already got it, is go grab your updated copy. If you don't got it, well, we're adding more goodness every single day. So if you wanna eat foods like this, that are lower in calories, higher in protein, makes dieting easier, then perhaps giving this a shot could be to your benefit. All right, people, I am stuffed, so uh, I think I gotta get out of here before I start burping and this gets ugly. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below, hit that subscription button, and with that, I bid you farewell. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Later.